All right, chapter six starts a new topic with our functions. As you know, we have been talking about the idea of what a function is for this entire semester. And now in chapter six, we're gonna focus in on a specific type of function. So in 6.1, we're gonna talk about what it means for a function to have an inverse. So just to remind you, this is from way back chapter one, uh, I think the one of the first or second days we were together, a function is a relation, meaning a set of ordered pairs that have a relationship. A function is a relation in which each x corresponds to a single y value. And so we, we looked at the six basic graphs. We determined if things were functions by using what was called the vertical line test. If I could pass a vertical line through a graph and it hit the graph one place only, I had a function. Now, a, the specific type of function we're going to talk about is what's called a one-to-one -one function. So as you're transcribing this into your notes, if you need to, pause the video, rewind it, whatever you need to do. A one-to-one -one function is a specific type of function in which each x value corresponds to what is a unique y value. So what that means is in our one-to-one -one function, no x or no y value is repeated. Okay, they're both used one time. So as an example, I'm going to turn to my graphing board right here. If my stunning assistant, yes, thank you for paying attention. It's good. All right. So this is my parabola. You are know and are familiar with it. We know from using the vertical line test that this is a function. Each x value has one y value. The, the vertical line goes through one time. Now, our parabola is not one to one because y values are repeated. So for instance, up here I have the y value one, two, three, here's the y value four, okay? The y value four is associated with this x value right here, whatever it would be for this particular uh, graph, and it's also the y value is associated with this x value too. So this y value comes from, is produced by, two different x values, so it's not one to one. Now the quick, easy, clean test for a graph is to what, use what's called the horizontal line test. So once you know something's a function, to determine if it's one to one, you use the horizontal line test. And notice the horizontal line passes through my parabola more than one place. So here's a new graph. Okay, we're going to do, so here's another basic function. This is my cubic function. Okay, we've, uh, or is something based on my cubic function looks like this. And so here's the question. After I ask it, pause the video, write down what you think the answer is. Is the cubic function, is this one to one? Okay, hopefully you paused. Notice when I take my vertical line, or excuse me, when I take my horizontal line, the horizontal line passes through the graph one place. That means each y value is used one time. So this is indeed what's called, what's called a one, two, one function. Okay, I'm gonna draw one more example up here. Again, uh, pause the video, determine yes or no. Is the following graph a one-to-one -one function or not? So it is this. Uh, let's just say that I have a graph that looks like this. So is this a one-to-one -one function? Yes or no? Pause. And when I take my horizontal line test, notice ooh, that Y value there is used one, two, three times, so it's been repeated, so that means that that graph is not a one-to-one -one function. So I will go, my, write my answer, not one-to-one. -one. 